One cell will contain thousands of mitochondria. Mitochondria contain an inner fluid called the mitochondrial matrix that is contained by an inner membrane layer. There is also an outer membrane that surrounds the inner membrane, which includes a space between called the intermembrane space. The components and the machinery in the form of protein complexes to produce ATP are embedded within the inner membrane. One part of this process is called electron transport, which involves releasing energy to pump protons out of the mitochondrial matrix. These protons are used to set up a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane, which will power the second part of the process. The second part of the process uses the proton gradient to power a protein complex called ATP synthase that manufactures the ATP molecules. This is quite literally a small nanoscale motor. It consists of two multiprotein units that are connected together through a rotor stock called the gamma unit. The base of the stock is housed within the inner membrane and it's called F0. The head of the device at the other end of the stock is called F1 and it is positioned within the mitochondrial matrix. There's an opening in F0 that allows the passage of the protons through it into the mitochondrial matrix. When a proton enters the passage, it loads the C-ring in F0, triggering the rotation. This turning action causes conformational changes in the head of F1, meaning that parts of the head change shape to manufacture the ATP molecules. The gamma unit is able to conduct full 360 degree turns as it operates. For each full turn, three ATP molecules can be created, each one being formed from one of three ATP making sites. Each of the ATP making sites can be in one of three conformational states. Those states are loose, tight, and open. When in the loose state, ADP and a phosphate P bind in the site. Next, in the tight state, the substrates are clamped down on to form ATP. Finally, in the open state, the ATP is released back into the matrix. In fact, this process is repeated in that exact order, loose, tight, open, for every turn of the gamma rotor to make three ATP molecules per full rotation.